Hey love bugs, it's Ross. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the video just gives you good vibe and just gives you comfort or uplift that you truly need it hey go ahead and share it with someone you never know they can you know get impact them in the same way or even more and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video uh, my video today is twin flame 101 hey Okas if um, it will feel lonely when certain energies no longer resonate uh, know that the unexpected vibes come towards uh, you will take you to the next level and that's so true a lot of times you know you may hear that that post you know a lot of times I resonate with different posts <laughs> pop it up saying something and it, you know how they tell you it may the journey may feel uh, lonely in your life but you know um, it's going to connect you with different things that's going to be on that same vibration you know I did a video before where um it was saying you know why people have only a certain access to you or you have a certain access to them towards that vibration because if the vibration is connecting you that we're all meeting each other and we're all well not meeting each other we're reconnecting because we played different parts in our lives before um in different lifespans or different time time uh you know time eras or whatever you want to call it and um there are certain things that was very unfinished that you may be uh you haven't let go of that person and the vibrations that it connected y'all you may uh needed forgiveness or you know there are certain things that you surpassed that the other person is struggling to do and they're teaching you how to do that by their experience what they're telling you what they went through and the changes they took place you know what they had to accept what they did to move on and um vice versa so um a lot of times it, it gets lonely and then the way i felt about it is like i know um i love the connections that i had and it took me a long time uh for me to say that especially when it, it impacted me in a negative way but these are the things that showed me you know what i had to go through what i was healing what i need to accept uh, what was that life lesson that that person was teaching me so I can grow, you know, being able to take that that uh, experience that I've had with them uh, towards my next level, whether it hurt me or it uplift me. You know, I had to be at that vibration aware, not allow myself to set uh, intentions that that person is going to stay in my life for a long stretch you know it's just being able to accept it now enjoy the now you know because I had so many people in and out of my life and just being able to say you know it took me a long time for me to say you know what I appreciate that vibration you know even if it was something I was being supportive towards them and uh, you know end up next thing you know it was like a trigger you know a lot of times it's like when we connect with people a trigger may come up and all of a sudden things go good we're mirroring each other like left and right like dag you know this is my peoples this is my folks it's like hey friend you know my spiritual friend they know what it feels like to go through these situations they you know they're mirroring exactly the same thing i went through and then next thing you know everything can go good and then a trigger comes up you know they start flipping you know the flipping the script and the vibrations get different but then that was exactly what was supposed to happen in the first place and it took me a long time to be able to figure that out and now when I'm at that point in my life now I can look back and say you know what I really appreciate what that person showed me in that situation um maybe it was something I did that was negative that you know that cut the tides or it was vice versa but whatever it is you know I place forgiveness in that you know whether I hurt somebody or they hurt me and just being able to say I needed that in my life it helped me learn it helped me heal and it's making me surpass what I was in that loop about because a lot of times we really wanted that insight that what's going to get us out of that repetitive cycle you know you're going through it and when you allow yourself when you get to that vibration to know you're healing you're going to see everything that connects with you in that that lifespan you know um you may have you know held um 
you took it personal, like put it that way. And a lot of times, you know, we're in human experience. So sometimes even when, when uh, well, not sometimes, but most of the time, we take it personal when people just up and leave us or they make up a lie about certain things that's going on or they try to play you left, you know, because it's just like I always tell people, you know, um, there's sometimes they have this vibration where they feel like if they talk to you on the phone or you do video chat or you see them, you'll be able to see the vibrations that they have towards you is like they don't they don't want to deal with you anymore. But people have you have to understand even through text messages, you can feel those different things. And, are, you know, people don't realize that. But these are the things that you needed to learn. These are the things, you you know, you get it to grow and you're not allowing yourself to hold um those as being personal but it's something that was you know this is that thing that's going to take you towards that next level that person was only supposed to have a certain access to you at that time you know because this is what you needed this is what they needed and you're moving on we're all you, we're all dealing we're all growing we're facing a lot of things some of us are higher in a vibrations than the next person but that's okay but when you're allowing yourself to be in that vibration to say you know what i know this healing this progression is not going to be something that's easy to disconnect from um, be easy to let go of but I'm willing to open that door to learn I'm really want, wanting that open that door to heal because especially when you're in that vibration of where you want better in your life you want to feel better you want to look better you want to see better you want to move you know you want to move in vibrations in a lot higher you know uh, higher vibration and for you're doing that there are you have to be able to connect with different people into your life. And when you're doing that, you're going to see that as an opportunity of a blessing of a lifetime, you know. And those are the things. It's like you go through so many different changes and that, you know, what we go through in those changes is really challenging. Because a lot of times we get very uncomfortable dealing with changes in our life. Sometimes we place resistance. Sometimes we'll be in denial. And those are the things that, you know, really truly takes place. That where you can see, you know, you get to that point like, okay, that's still triggering to me. Let me allow myself to really heal from that. Or, oh, I see that I'm, I'm in denial by not allowing myself to let go of this situation or that vibration or that person. You know, let me allow myself to let go with love. Let me detach from that. You know, be accepting of how that situation is. Being accept, accepting about how the chips fell. You know, things come into your life, they go, you know, they, they, they bring, you know, people come into your life to love you, to teach you. Well, they're all teaching you, you know, but it's going to be, there's times going to be people are going to comfort you, people are going to help you heal, people are going to support you, but there's also people that are going to lie, they're going to hurt, you know, they're going to use deception, vibrations, you know, different things like that. But these are all a part of life for our higher growth. This is all the things that we needed to do to go through that initial change in our lives. And a lot of times we're on that journey. You know, you have to be able to see the bigger perspective of that. These uh, situations is, is like there's people that are always like everybody is taking you towards that next level. You know, there will be some people that want to keep you in that level. Some people that is going to, you know, like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm motivated. I, you know, I want to be able to see you grow. I want to see you win. And it's beautiful when you can be around people that want to see you win. When they want to see you win, they're going to help you get there. And when you can be able to be with people like that or surround your people like that, it's nurturing because it's like you're seeing each other grow. And it's like it's no competition. It's no comparison. But it's just like we all want to see each other to get to that finish line these are the things that we all deserve i feel like everybody in, in, in the world should be happy and be in that complete oneness with themselves being able to you know project the best version of ourselves to be able to do that and sometimes that that journey can really get lonely and those are the things are you notice what you're attracting you know when you start getting to that vibration where you are so positive negative vibration and won't even be able to stand to be around you people will start dropping left and right and you have to be able to see that like what what did i do you know i, I did this i did that you know i was being helpful i was being attentive what it, a lot of times they don't have nothing to do with you but it's just the vibrations that you keep when you know it's nurturing and you know when you're straightforward you're not sleeping on yourself you may be essing with yourself you know what you want in life you you place your intentions on that and a lot of times there's other people that are still stuck in their old vibration and they're really struggling to get with that and it's like you know there there was a time where you may have been through that 
And those are the things that we're, we're all of us are allowing ourselves to heal from. And sometimes it takes us a lot longer than the other ones. So it's like for me, it took me a long time, <laughs> you know, and I had to be able to, I, you know, I keep it transparent with that because it was a lot of things that I still was not aware of. There's a lot of things that I still wasn't allowing myself to accept or forgive or let go. And then when I see that, you know, being able to like broaden the perspective, you, a lot of times for you to get that deeper understanding, you have to be able to see the bigger picture of this. Yes, if this is something that's really triggering me, it's showing me where I need to heal. If certain things are, are, are being denied to me, maybe that, that means th that I need to get on my, my situation and get on top of it and allowing myself to, you know, take what's mine. You know, you know, different things is going on where it, it shows you to where you can upgrade your strength from, you know, strengthen your intuitive, your intuition, you know, you're, you're using your God-given gift of your spiritual uh, uh, assets of your gifts and talents that you have um, to be able to help you get towards that next level. And what you're attracting is, it's like, it is not even when you're by yourself and you feel like, well, dang, I'm not attracting anybody, you know, nobody's wanting to deal with me, nobody's talking to me. You just don't know what you're looking for is looking for you too. What you're searching for is searching for you too. Just because it's not there don't mean that you're not attracting that. When you're allowing yourself to do it, sometimes when you're on that, that voyage of healing, of strengthening yourself, recognizing your oneness, recognizing what's not good for you, what's not, you know, what is good for you, what what's nurturing, what's, you know, toxic, it's going to be lonely. You know, and a good thing is that lets you know you're not grab, you know, you're not gravitating or magnetic, you know, that magnet of toxicity, you know, and then it's just a, you know, for you to be able to deal with it. You know, sometimes we can be in our negative vibrations, have that e Eeyore syndrome. Anybody ever watched Winnie the Pooh, you see that Eeyore was never happy. He was always in depression, like, oh boy. You know, I'm so used to always being me less, you know, and you could be that type of person and say, I'm so used to people dogging me. I'm so used to people kicking me down. You may have gone, you may have been that underdog that went through that. But then you, if you did take it for this way, um, to be able to say, take it for this way, look at it this way. Now, if somebody tries to do that, you already know exactly how to end that before it truly begins. If you, you've been through toxic relationships, you already know what red flags, that vibrations, you know, all those different things. Even when you forgive and let go and it's just something somebody did that brought that back, that was just showing you, hey, that person is just like that person. You see what you went through last time. Okay, you'd be able to cut it. You know, and I do it now. I used to be able to have to, you know, stay in a situation for a little bit longer than I did before. It was too quick for me to let on. Now when it just shifts, I'm automatically cut out. You know, I'm done. You know, I'm going. I'm like, oh, okay, you know, lesson learned. Got to go move on to the next. And those things are helping you progress. And a lot of times it sucks when you have to go through stuff like that. And nobody wants to be lonely. You know, you want to be able to have that vibration where people get you. You know, you want people in your life that, you know, that's nurturing towards your change that you're going through. They're challenging themselves and they're challenging, you know, they're helping you challenge yourself. And if you've been slacking on yourself, they're going to get you and say, hey, what you been doing? You say, oh, you know, I just haven't been feeling myself or whatever. Like, hey, you, got, you have been doing such a good job, you know, and this is encouraging you. Yes, you know, a lot of times we go through pitfalls, down slopes, you know, setbacks, failures, you know, things aren't moving the way it's supposed to be. But that that's showing you, are you going to quit? Are you going to sleep on yourself? No. That's where faith comes in. Anytime when you're dealing with something and you're going through change, it's not going to automatically open doors for you. If it does, you know, congrats, God bless. You know, I'm so happy for you and I'm proud of you. But a lot of us people, we had to earn that. We had to go through things where this is where your faith, belief, and patience come in. When you know you're doing everything it takes and you're actually putting in that work, you're actually, you know, there will be moments where you want to be able to hang with your friends and you want to go out to the club or, you know, you want to do this kickback or whatever. But now you're on that situation where I got to get serious with myself. I know where I want to be. You know, I got goals I'm trying to reach. I got pinnacles I'm trying to connect with. I don't have time to be doing that. A lot of times you got to disappear to get become successful. You have to uh, be able to be incognito, you know, for you to stay focused on yourself Some 
sometimes you got to go to isolation and solitude, you know, just for you to be able to get away from distractions, just to focus on you and your needs. And those things are supposed to happen. Those are the things that you're supposed to do when you get serious with yourself. You know, I see so much progression that's coming into my life and I'm proud of that, you know, and I, I can live it like that. I don't really be talking to nobody, but I see all the different things that I've been, you know, doing. I said, shoot, I'm tired right now. I just finished like the last two days. I did a whole spread of daggone tarot cards. I haven't did tarot cards in a minute, like probably almost close to three months, two months or whatever. And I switched it up. You know, just to bring something back new, you know, podcasts, you know, bringing that back up. You know, I just want to be able to have different things. You're talking about healing inner child, you know, different narcissistic relationships. How do you be able to stop a narcissistic relationship before it starts? You know, these are different things where it's challenging me because these are things that I've gone through. These are the things that I'm still healing from. And it's challenging me for me to not allow myself to get back in that vibration, but just being able to show other people how you can overcome these different things in your life these are different things where if it's something that you have made it through and you are surviving of that that may lead you to a purpose to help other people that may be struggling in a narcissistic relationship and may not even know they're in a narcissistic relationship and these are the things where you you see where universe is working it out for you because it may be lonely but this is giving you that time to this is where it's giving you that time to work on yourself you're going through a huge spiritual transition that is going to be something that you never expected you know you may be even surpassing the different things that you don't set up you know set up for yourself so if you're going through all these different things where you may be feeling lonely trust and believe there's gonna be somewhere down somewhere on the line down the line where somebody's going to connect with you and they're gonna be on that vibe either it's, it's going to be at that connection vibe on the same vibration where you don't have to worry about different things or it's going to be on that next one they're trying to bring you there so you know congrats to that you know and it's going to be okay it's going to be good you know these are all learning experiences and a lot of times it's going to get lonely but it's all it is is bringing you to reset to be able to find you from the deepest level so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of the video y'all if i have not replied to your comments i do apologize I, when it's just like universe is telling me hey i need you to put this out i need you to put this out i gotta do that and you know i'm gonna come back to you because usually y'all know i i usually try to hit your your comments up unless i'm you know I, i've done self-care and i'm just you know i backed away from everything but i know i've been doing like videos and podcasts and stuff back to back to back and i haven't got a chance to reply to y'all so i do apologize for that but i will be doing that um as soon as i get the chance to just settle down and be able to sit in in front of the computer and, and, and just press pause for a minute so i hope you were able to resonate with this video i hope you have a blessed weekend i know i got a few videos or so uploaded so i don't know if this is going to come out during the weekend if it does have a blessed safe weekend please be responsible and safe for everything you do if it not you know if not you know still during the week please be safe and be responsible every single thing you do you know on um, whatever you're trying to manifest into your life you know, I send so many up, up, uh, uplifting vibes, whether it's healing, calming, grounding, stillness, you know, uh, separation from different things, just being able to focus, you know, you got this, you know, a lot of things that's taking place in your life where it may feel uncertain and, you know, your, your faith is really being tested right now, but don't, don't give up on yourself. You just don't know them, them hardcore moments is always a, a powerful adjustment to take you where you least expect it. So, you know, I'm sitting so many, so much love and uplifting vibes towards you because you truly need it. And, you know, just keep on going. You know, the enemy might try to make you, you know, give in and give out today just because of, no, he, he knows, they know, you know, uh, that the blessing of abundance is about to open tomorrow. So, you know, stay consistent and persistent because you truly deserve that. You earn your flowers and you need to be giving them. So I hope y'all have a blessed, safe week weekend whenever this does come out even through social distancing make sure you give out love light positivity words wide frequencies you never know all those things really take somebody a long way and you'll see me on my next video much love peace